Research in Motion, or RIM, has had several successful runs with BlackBerry smartphone devices, such as the Bow, the Curve, and the Storm. This year, RIM is organizing its second annual developers conference in the beautiful city of San Francisco. Let's check out what they have to share. And it really does open up the promise of a whole set of transformative services and opportunities and new forms of revenue for you. Now, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the API extensions uh, on BlackBerry because we've got a whole new host of APIs in the BlackBerry. And I just want to say we heard you. We are today is so much further ahead than we were, we were a year ago, and I'm sh I know that a year from now we'll be further ahead again. Let me talk about the new, the, the, the new newer pillar, which is the web platform a little bit. Clearly, the mobile web is exploding, but how do you make a transformative web experience? Uh, we've got two in here right now: the Ford GT and the BMW. Which one are you feeling lucky with right now, Eric? Okay. So it's the beam. So let's go into a place. Okay, so immediately you can see we've got a beautiful 3D environment. Uh, we've never been able to do this kind of full 3D into the screen racing before on BlackBerry devices. Um, obviously, for all the developers uh, in the audience, um, just some facts and figures. So we're pushing about between 6,000 and 13,000 polygons in the environment, depending. The accelerometer controls giving us enough. Fidelity to be able to drive the car beautifully around the track and really feel like you're in touch with the vehicle. Um, and more touch controls in game, so you can just tap the screen to brake uh, and hold your finger on to brake longer and just swipe like that to give yourself a turbo boost. accepting themes in the BlackBerry app world as a central channel to help you distribute and sell that content to BlackBerry users around the world. So as of today, you can now start submitting custom themes into BlackBerry. Because things are going crazy in the BlackBerry developer community right now, and crazy in a great way. We just hit the 200,000 registered developer mark worldwide. We've had 1.6 plus million developer tools downloaded over the past couple of years. Just a, a colossal number. And, and for this year, we're announcing that the service will be available to all registered developers, and it's a free service. <laughs> the interesting about how we're actually using this is rather than having trucks driving all around collecting cell tower information, all of the BlackBerry users who are using 5.0 will be contributing to the cell tower database. So it keeps it up to date. So rather than have you go through all the trouble of managing all those business relationships and working with all the different SDKs, we are providing an aggregation of many, many world-class We'll click on that guy, the, the full screen ad appears again, but at the very top, you'll notice a little section that says, uh, click to watch the image right away. And when you click on it, here's what you get. calculation and UI presentation are handled by the payment service. RIM has been working closely with PayPal to make the purchase process streamlined and easy to use. So let's use PayPal developers. And what we are finding, which is amazing, is that our customers are really telling us that the innovation is actually happening on smartphones. And thinking about smartphones in terms of how they develop these new sets of capabilities has become really critical to them. And so we're thrilled to tactile response, so if I go down to my trackpad there and I say let's uh, click on the you know, white arrow there, then here we have in fact something even wilder. We have flash video playing back inside of our BlackBerry device. Cool.